Hey there, and welcome to another video. This week, it's just a, a short little in-between video as I got a bigger project coming next week. Today, we're taking a look at a hard drive that I left on a roof for five years. Yes, there's no exaggeration there. I actually left this hard drive on a roof for five years. Back in 2015, I got a large lot of computers and laptops from a business that was closing down. One of those hard disks didn't work, so I thought I'd just put it on a roof to see what happens. Anyway, it's been sitting out there for five years in the pelting rain, scorching sun, and everything in between. It didn't actually work when I put it up there, so it definitely doesn't work now. Anyway, let's see exactly what happened to that hard disk. The 2.5 inch hard disk we have here has a capacity of 160 gigabytes. The label on the front is still legible, but it's clearly starting to fade away. The other side, not exposed to the sun, has a fair amount of rust around the Phillips head screws. There is definitely a lot of corrosion, which isn't too surprising given where it's been stored for the last five years. But one annoying thing is all the screws holding the PCB on are rusted tight. I slightly stripped the first screw by accident. I thought applying a small amount of WD-40 lubricant would help maybe get the screws turning. Even with it applied, the screws simply wouldn't budge. I also tried scrubbing the rust affected areas with isopropyl alcohol, which I guess kind of unsurprisingly had very little effect. I let the drive sit for about 5 minutes before I tried again, which didn't help at all, and still the screws would not turn. I'll try drilling the PCB off later in the video. To get into the hard disk itself, I applied some WD-40 before carefully unscrewing the Torx T5 screws. Using a plastic spudger, I carefully pried the cover off. I didn't realise there was a hidden screw underneath the label. Inside the drive, we can see that things don't look too good. At first, I thought I had to remove this Torx T6 screw on the back. But nope, it turns out there was a hidden screw here all along. Ouch, that doesn't look too flash at all. Now that we've got it opened up, we can see that the drive has indeed been compromised by water. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how it made its way in. I thought hard drives were airtight, but uh, either way, water has got in. For those of you that don't know, in these old mechanical hard drives, as the drive platters spin at 5400 revolutions per minute, the little drive head moves back and forth to read and write your data. Since I'd like to see how corroded the circuit board is, and given the fact that the screws are now stripped, I'm going to have to step things up a notch. The first drill that I used seemed a little bit too blunt. I stood there and drilled for literally minutes with not a lot happening. Time for a bigger drill bit. Now this seemed to work a lot faster. With the second screw, I ended up obliterating the surrounding circuit board. Next, I tried to drill out the screws that were holding the PCB in place, and I definitely broke the board while doing this. Since the drive was already dead even before it sat out there for five years, it's not like we were going to fix it anyway. So I used some force and pried the board off. It really doesn't look as bad as I thought it would. In fact, most of it's just dirt, although I definitely broke the board. Not that the hard disk worked anyway. Even though solid state storage is everywhere now, mechanical hard disks still have very useful applications. With the drive open once again, let's completely disassemble it. The first part to come off is one side of the strong magnet. When electricity is sent through the copper coils on the drive head, it will move in a very specific way. The clicking sound you often hear in old hard disks is the heads hitting against the casing. All of your precious data is stored on these magnetic platters. This particular drive has two of them. A lot of moisture and water has definitely gotten in here. If this drive was spinning, all of that water would be flung off the platters. A small metal ring separates the platters. If you don't have money for an engagement ring, I guess this would do. Underneath, we've got many years worth of liquid that pulled inside the drive. You wouldn't want to touch this motor when it's spinning at full speed. If you're in desperate need for a mirror, a drive platter would work quite well. So should you leave your hard disk outside on the roof for five years? The answer, unsurprisingly, is no. Although it wasn't as damaged as I thought it would be, I was surprised that water had actually compromised the drive and gotten inside. Before I go, I'd like to mention that you can now become a member of the channel. 
To find out more, click join, which is next to the subscribe button below. Anyway, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you've liked the video, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to see more, definitely consider subscribing. I hope you're going to enjoy the video we've got coming up next week, because it's about a really, really, really old computer. Anyway, I'll see you then.